There it is. What's up? How you doing, everyone? Hope you're doing well. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna see. 475 is the paint code for this BMW. It's a 2021 4 Series with uh, the big grills. Um, probably vandalized or something like that. Anyways, uh, we're gonna paint it, okay? And I want to show you uh, what I know a little bit on how to get it, you know, cleaner. We're gonna pretty much do, we're gonna do the whole car, really. We are doing the whole car, except the roof. So, going to quickly try to keep this video short, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to wash it with uh, Prime Wash Final Wipe, okay? With my microfiber cloth. I get these at Costco and uh, I basically use them for a week and then you can wash them or recycle them and put them to use in another place in the shop. Okay, so not much explanation. Just watch, watch the way I do it, okay? kind of what I'm trying to uh, make you understand that you can't be doing cleaning the car in here after press. You have to clean it outside. This is just a final, final cleaning. And you always want to clean the plastic. Always clean the plastic because it's going to get you a cleaner paint job, right? Just kind of pretend that you're going to paint the plastic as well, and it'll give you a much cleaner paint job, a lot less headaches. We're going to cover this whole entire car, make sure that we got uniform, nice, 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 nice look. My name is Gabriel Marino, by the way, and I started this channel a while back to help painters very simply to add value to a painter's life. So hopefully I can do that today. Don't ask me why the spoiler is still on. Probably because it's two-way paint on there. Don't ask me questions I don't know. Huh. Get that. Turn. I go to the other side. I figured, hey, might as well make a new video. 
You guys smashed the likes on the last two videos that I made. You guys liked them so much. So I, I thought, hey, you know what? These guys and girls want to watch the videos. So if you want to watch more videos, just make sure you smash the likes. Why do I say smash the likes? Like, if you like it once, it's great. If you like it twice, it's not good because uh, it removes the like. So, like it three times. <laughs> but, if you like it, then YouTube shows this video to more people. But if I would really care about subscribers and views this channel will be a lot bigger but I just want to help whoever watches it and then that's it I'm cool but make sure you're always cleaning the paper or the plastic whatever it is that you're doing very 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 important by the way. I'm very glad that you're here watching, hopefully learning. If you haven't yet, go get yourself a drink, a coffee perhaps, a big cup of coffee or tea, perhaps a, um, a sparkling drink, I don't know, whatever you want to drink. But that way you can chill, kick back, and watch me work. <laughs> and if I screw something up, you're gonna be watching it as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it with the water cleaner. They don't do it enough. You gotta clean, 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 clean. When you think you're done cleaning, you clean some more, okay? So all the frontline workers took all the gloves, so I have no gloves. <laughs> True story. True story, my friends. But hey, they're saving lives. I'm not. I don't care. I did put on uh, some invisible gloves, but they don't work. Oh, also... 
you're cleaning, I like to apply some pressure. Because if there's anything stuck, I want to make sure that I want to get it out. And that's also why I don't really like to wear gloves when I'm cleaning. Because I'm going to run my hand on this. My clean hands. Okay? Because if there's anything that's stuck, you will feel it. So, after I go this and pack it, that's what I'll do. And I'm going to pack it with the same cloth, believe it or not. Woo! Whoa! Alright, awesome. Okay, so we are 11, 11 minutes in. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blow this off a little bit. Okay. These are available on the website, by the way. They're uh, 57 bucks, and they'll last you a very long time. If you drop them and it cracks, look at that. You can put this right back on. My one recommendation is don't bake them because then that weakens this. So that's why I always keep it in my in my pocket. Okay, like I showed you before, like I te taught you before, what you want to do is you want to start at one end of the of the car. You want to work your way towards the other end, wherever you're going to start. Doesn't matter. When it comes to cleaning and tacking, okay. So I'm going to start in the back. Yeah, you can see the whole car. Awesome. I like you, I love you, by the way, and I'm glad that you're here, okay? If you want me to keep making videos, please smash the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell, baby, for all the notifications. Okay, start from the back. We're gonna start from the back and we're gonna tack towards the front with my blower going that way. And when you think you're done blowing, keep blowing.
Okay? And I shouldn't feel anything. That's exactly what I want to feel. Nothing. Okay? Just lightly drive my hand over it. If your hands are not clean, then don't do this. Where are you painting a car? Okay. I'm obviously super lucky and blessed and grateful that I get to paint in this nice paint booth. But at the end of the day, a lot of these steps are the same no matter where where you spray. Okay. All right. 16 minutes in, I guess we're ready to spray. I'm using my uh, Welcome HTE Carbonio. This is a 360 Carbonio light, okay? The Genesis, 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 uh, whatever it is, Genesis Carbonio 360 light. It's a lot of names for a gun, but it's worth it because it's amazing. Uh, 1.3, and I'm gonna be spraying this at 27.5, 28 PSI. Check that out. Uh, you can get these on my website as well, there's digital regulators, there's, it's a combo for 150 bucks or just the regulator, but you basically can just set it and forget it, take it off and then go ahead. Uh, so I'm going to put one, I'm going to just put, because that's water primer so it's lighter, so I'm going to put one coat of that, then I'm going to go and start and I'm going to coat the whole thing really quickly, a light coat, nothing crazy. painted the bumpers so earlier today so now I'm just doing the car
So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry this really quickly and I'm gonna put a quick coat on the primer spots. So you can just fast forward, I guess, a little bit. But watch how fast this dries. These things are amazing. That way you can work a little bit faster. when it comes to coverage so I'm gonna replace my clear thingy because I just took it off and uh, I'm gonna go get more base and we'll be right back forgot this little spot right just gonna dry everything I did and we'll be good to go for another medium wet coat on the whole entire thing I'm reloaded! Okay. A nice even coat on everything now. And then we'll finish it off with a control coat. 27 PSI.
I'm going to go over to the other side, continue where I left off. Remember to take you with me here. all nice and easy uh, make sure you're laying it on even now I think I have enough to uh, to finish off with that control coat um, that's a no good all right so what I'm doing here is I, I split it upside down and I pull the trigger so all the stuff can come down right and I split it like this go like this a little bit just because sometimes the PPS the sleeve gets all crunched up we don't want any toners and stuff to get in there and stay there so what I'm gonna do is I just did like this put it all down because I'm gonna use every last drop of this base all right just gonna blow this just gonna blow actually you know what I'm gonna just turn on the booth on the uh, evaporation setting five minutes we'll be back all right okay Ready for a control coat. This is not silver. It's got metallic, obviously. This is 475 Ladder Bluer X18, I believe. Was the best match for this. I matched it to the roof. Um, looking good. Quick control coat. And then we smashed the clear. little tip when you're doing a control coat bring the temperature down if you can to 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit I think and make sure that the panel has actually come down in temperature it'll make your life a lot easier I'm telling you that right now big tip big tip 20 psi 19 psi I like to do 19.5 okay let's go couple minutes and we come back for a clear coat all right I'm using my HD clear carbonio 
and I'm gonna spray at 30 psi. I have the trigger all the way out. This is a 1.2. Uh, this is a 1.2, but it's also been modified because I'm testing out this cap. Uh, fan, pretty much wide open. Okay, you see, that's wide open. I have it right here, just so it's not completely open, but it's like almost nothing anyways. Trigger four, full all the way. I'm gonna be about eight inches away. Just watch me spray, and hopefully uh, you can learn something, okay? 30 PSI.
we're gonna give this 10 minutes and we're gonna come for a second coat. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start in the back here, okay? Because I want the hood to be the last part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the quarter, quarter, then the trunk, and then continue. ready to go set up so all I had to do is literally pour it that's another reason why I like to spray a little cool in the booth especially when I'm doing a car like this
we're gonna do is we're gonna let this flash off. I'll tell you what I used right now. There's obviously a couple of nibs, a few nibs here and there, right? Maybe 10 in the hood or something like that. A few in a fender, a few in the door, a few in the quarter, but I'm very happy with that finish. Very nice, love it. So I'm gonna let this flash off for 10 minutes and then we'll put it on bake. Uh, the huge shout out to um, Enrique. Enrique, he doesn't work for PPG, I promise. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he 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 told me about a painter that mixed 530 with 550 and it worked amazing. I'm not telling you to do this. Uh, this is not advice. Um, but that's what I did. Uh, 530, 550, half and half. Uh, ECR 5075 and then ECR 85 reducer. Man, I'm I'm getting I think uh, some of the best finishing paint jobs I've had in a really long time. So I really love it. So shout out to that painter. Um, yeah, look at it. Looks beautiful. So I will let this flash for 10 minutes, and then I'll. I, what I've been doing is after it flashes for 10 minutes, I bake it for 30 minutes for 160. 30 minutes at 160 degrees. All right, boys and girls. I hope you learned something today. Uh, let's see if we can catch this one. Uh, when it's all done and and uh, polished and put together, but if not Take a look Okay Love it